Singles Awareness Day, aka Valentine's Day for math nerds. Most people think Cupid is a baby. Very few people know the truth that he's actually married and has kids, which makes you wonder how his wife feels about him posing nude for all those Hallmark cards. This graph shows the dramatic reduction in the net worth of the average male around Valentine's Day. Similar drop-offs in the size of guys' wallets are seen on the release date of a new Call of Duty, a new Fart Noise app for the iPhone, and whenever bacon is added to any menu item at a national fast food chain. They say that bacon is like meat candy, which makes it the opposite of sweethearts, which I think we can all agree are like chalk candy. And sweethearts are also probably the least environmentally friendly candy, since virtually all of it gets thrown away instead of eaten. Speaking of things that may make you sick, here is a nauseatingly romantic Venn diagram by user Missa Michelle about what girls want on Valentine's Day. But hey, at least her heart's in the right place. Popular Valentine's Day gifts include greeting cards, jewelry, chocolate, flowers, vacations, and in one case, a little thing an emperor once made for his wife called the Taj Mahal, whose motto, by the way, is making all other gifts look totally lame in comparison since 1632. Even Cupid doesn't give his wife anything this good. This four quadrant gift guide sets the X axis as cost of the gift and the Y axis as love demonstrated by the gift. Now you're gonna have to pause the video if you wanna get all of the jokes, but I'd especially like to call your attention to the quadrant of low cost and low love, which includes excellent suggestions such as diet chocolate, a Facebook poke, or a rash. Finally, here is a graph about difficulty in finding a date for a Valentine's Day dance. For the record, the best way to do this is to say, we should hang out sometime. And when the person is like, yeah, totally, you say, how about at the Valentine's Day dance? Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to see more graphing videos, click on any of these thumbnails. And I release new videos every Tuesday, so please click here to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. Now, longtime viewers may recall that my very first Math Nerds video was about Facebook. And a lot has changed on Facebook since that time, so my next Math Nerds video contest is going to be Facebook for Math Nerds. Part two. So submit your graph videos as a video response to this one. You can talk about anything like how Facebook has changed, things you like about Facebook, things you don't like about Facebook, ways Facebook has impacted your life. And if I use your graph in the video, I will send you an autographed postcard, one of these postcards, which is a printed version of my most popular blog entry of 2011. Probably one of the most viral things I've ever done online. To see that blog entry, you can click on the link in the underbar or enter this address into your web browser. Happy Valentine's Day. Thanks for watching. We should hang out sometime. Bye bye. By the way, check out this shirt that my brother got me for Christmas. Do you get it? It's a reference to a certain YouTube video. Dun dun dun. Listen up, people, don't feel sorry for me. A M P U T double E. The glasses half full, yeah, I still got three.